Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to PCT Podcast, episode 24, second take. Mess up on the first one, but uh, I am joined by Miguel. So, As well as Matt, a returning character to the show. How's it going, man? It's good to be back. I am also joined by Trey. Man, this is take two already. Come on. This is take two in the span of like three minutes. Hopefully, you know, no, it's probably because you're here, Trey. By the end of this, oh, probably uh, the, fi- no the, the final cut, the, the Snyder cut of this podcast will be like on his 15th take. And still would not come out on time. No, it wouldn't. No, I am notorious for that. Um, and then Jake will be here a little later. But um, before we get into the topic of today, how are you guys doing? What have you guys been up to? What's been popping? I've been doing good. good, man. That's good. I've been good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, man. You guys, uh, doing some, some college stuff coming up, you know, all that kind of jazz. Dude, you're growing up so fast. Uh, you're growing up so fast. Oh, thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, we've all been playing Last of Us as well, and we're gonna have a review on that uh, coming soon. But f- right, just really quickly, I think we all, for the most part, in here, love the game, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, definitely. Great. Amazing game. So, look out. For that review, I'm gonna be doing that with Trey and Matt and maybe Miguel if he wants to do it. I'll see. Maybe. Um, so yeah, but it's gonna be a shorter podcast this week. Um, this is pre-recorded. We are recording this on Thursday. It's not live, so that's probably why you can't see your comment on the screen right now. But uh, we thought we'd actually talk about uh, CD Projekt Reds. They did their first Night City Wire uh, live stream event um, today, and it was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is a game I think we're all looking forward to. We have been for years now, and we got to see a little bit more of a glimpse inside of what to expect uh, this November. November is a new uh, release month for this game. Um, so, right off the bat, what do you guys think of it? What, what do you guys think of the live stream? I thought it was pretty well put together. I mean, I don't know. Um, a lot of studios now are kind of going for that direction lately. Yeah. To, well, they'll know that due to certain circumstances that I don't want to bring up because I know YouTube has some, you know, certain policies worth saying things about it. Yep. But, um, Appreciate that. I mean, Avengers did something similar to that, you mm-hmm. know, yesterday with their Avengers table thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's something definitely new and interesting. Um, I'm all for it. I mean, I, I mean, we got a little bit. I wish we had some more gameplay today, but I'm sure they'll follow between multiple Night City wires. So, I mean, all in all, I think it was well put together. Yeah. And I've, uh, Intrigued to see what's gonna coming out for more of it. I'm beyond excited for it. What is that? <laughs> just because I just love CD Projekt Red's work. This isn't their first game. They made more games. Yes. Oh, huh. I thought they were amateurs. This looks like amateur work, Trey. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me as I tur- as I spin my hat around to the back. Oh. All right, let me fill you in. Yankee with brim on the back. Okay. Exactly. You know, I still never saw but... one of those memes. <laughs> I saw a couple, and unfortunately, I can't I saw all get it back. Um, no, but, it... but that... go go for it, man. But like, there's just so much I'm excited about. The most thing I'm happy about that you can switch. From driving mm-hmm. from first person to third person. Yeah, that looked really good. Um, but like, I'm just excited to see what roads you can unlock throughout the game. Mm-hmm. Now, do you think it's gonna be kind of like a Spider-Man type deal where you pretty much have the whole entire open world unlocked for you at the beginning, or do you think it's gonna be you know something that you have to unlock as you progress in the world and whatnot? Kind of, but when it comes down, I'm ba- I'm basing everything off The Witcher because mm-hmm. it's their previous game. Yeah, and everything. But like, when it comes down to The Witcher, like you could go there, mm-hmm. but you could do the side quest there and everything. You could go to Skellige, which is the other part of the map. Mm-hmm. You can go there and like do side quests and everything, but nothing will happen until you uh, push the story along. Mm. Okay, got it, got it. Um, but with how, but with how Cyberpunk is looking though, I wouldn't mind it being more like you have to unlock the way to get to somewhere else, since most like the most part of the cities are abandoned, mm-hmm. ghost towns. You see, for me, I'm kind of hoping that 
it'll let you go wherever you want off the get-go. Because what I'm getting from this game, really, like, big vibes from it is... I mean, I'm not as big into them as you are, Trey, so you know more about them as, than I do. We come to CG Project Red and how they work. But to me, it seems much more like a... I don't know if I want to say a more mature kind of like GTA, but with, like, RPG vibes, which I think is really cool. It seems like more... Mm-hmm. Like, I really want the world to be fleshed out. You can go wherever you want right off the get-go. And you can make alliances with people. I mean, obviously the main story and stuff, but I don't know. Part of me kind of hopes it's all one big up the world, because I feel like it's locked behind certain, like, progression walls off the bat. The freedom's going to feel a little bit gone. Mm-hmm. But then again, I don't know a lot about them, so, I mean, maybe that's how they work. So, you well, know, Sucker me, Punch I'm... is notorious for that, but I know they're not doing that with Ghosts, so I don't know what CD, yeah, CP's going to do with it. Well, like, what I, what I meant, but, like, I wouldn't mind you unlocking it. I mean, like, like um, Blackwater and Red Dead, where, like, it's just off because of story itself mm. yeah i can see that that would be bad like since we literally since we literally don't know the state of night city with the whole entire gangs and the whatever the um uh, uh the government mm. system is going to be mm. mm-hmm. really don't know what's going to be happening with that at the moment so i'm gonna take a guess maybe some places are off because of activity mm-hmm um real quickly i just want to you know kind kind of start talking about what you know what we saw today and i got you know personally uh i shared this with you guys because we all watched it live together i got a lot of bethesda vibes from that as far as gunplay comes in a hand here i felt like it was very reminiscent of something like doom or wolfenstein in the sense that it was very quick very action heavy um it wasn't you know as slow as call of duty i say i you know call of duty compared to like doom or wolfenstein is very slow um so i i got a lot of bethesda vibes and when it comes to bethesda games i'm not super big in bethesda games as well but i will say i do love their gunplay and if well let's be fair except for fallout's gunplay yeah well i haven't you know i really haven't played fallout like that but (laughs) oh no try try playing a fallout battle royale and you'll see what i mean oh my god Oh god! Wait, there's a Fallout Battle Royale. Yeah, <laughs> man, that like last summer, uh, nuclear winter. Yeah. Yikes. Um, no, they. I thought they added it um, last E3. No, it was this. Well, it was last summer sometime. I don't know. I was just saying because, yeah. dude, but that, like, dude, their their games are great. Like Jano said that I love their FPS, like yeah. Rage and uh, mm-hmm. Wolfenstein and stuff. But like, <laughs> I don't know why they can make Fallout good when it comes to FPS controls, but hey, who knows. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I got a lot of vibes from, you know, Bethesda Gunplay, and I was like, you know, I, I'm not going to lie, this game, it's been on my radar. I think it's been on everyone's radar. But for me, at least... Yeah, definitely. And Jake's here. For me, at least... <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, at least, it's not a game that I'm, like, freaking out about, like, something like Last of Us, where I was, you know, I it was, like, Christmas morning for me when that game came out. Um... But after seeing the gunplay, you know, a bit more in depth today, I gotta say I was very happy with what I saw. Mm-hmm. What do you think of Cyberpunk, Jake? Yeah, no, definitely. Where have you been? I've been doing stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I was. I liked it. What I saw, I liked. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, not entirely sure how much I'm gonna like the only first person kind of thing. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Um. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I, it. It's definitely for more of like a, like, cinematic and kind of like immerse mm-hmm. kind of thing. But I've always been more of a third person kind of like. I, I just feel like you can see everything more and seeing like the character as well because there's gonna be customization stuff with it, especially like for clothing yeah. and things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So it's like, what's the point in customizing your clothes? Your face, your entire everything. If all you're gonna see is everyone else, mm-hmm. I I say the main reason why they did this to stop people from like, oh, it's just a Witcher, but with cybernetics instead of magic. Well, with Witcher, you can create your own character. You play as a set character, which is Geralt. Oh, I know. So... But like, I'm I'm just saying because like someone could draw that parallel real fast. Mm-hmm. I suppose, but I feel like this is kind of like comparing Red Dead to GTA. I understand what you're saying, but I mean, yeah. for me, I think what they're trying to do is first person. I mean, I, I'm really fine with it either way. I mean, I guess probably prefer it third, but like, I think what they're trying to make you feel is really immersed in the world. Mm-hmm. Because what they, like, especially I think in the past, they've talked about like how the first person point of view will have you. We already know you have intimate relationships. Let's not get into that. 
Um, <laughs> but they also said they want you, like, whenever you're, like, on the streets of the city, they want to feel kind of claustrophobic and dingy and dirty. Mm-hmm. So the details, like, up in your face because it's a very, like, it's a dystopian world. I mean, it's not, like, going to be a clean place. I mean, yeah, you can have, like, the executive rich areas, but they really want you to feel like you're in that world and you're in that space living it. You know, third-person yeah. games are fantastic. Like, I love Red Dead to death. I mean, everybody knows that in here. But, like... I do think having a first-person perspective really will show up close, like, the kind of, like, grime of the city mm-hmm. and, like, the yeah. kind of, like, stature of living there. I think with so, that being said, the only thing CD Projekt Red is really missing the mark on, and I've said this numerous times, is VR. This game has mm-hmm. VR written all over it. Uh, I would love to experience yeah, this game yeah. in VR, but they've already said they're not making a VR mode. They don't have any plans of making a VR mode. And I, man, for a game like this, that sounds like a bummer. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but I definitely do think that a lot of people would love to experience Night City and all of its glory in VR. It would be cool. I I mean, yeah, that would definitely be cool. I don't know how much I would actually do it, though. You know, like, if it wasn't VR, it would probably be something like, I test out once, like, after I finish the game and then go, yeah. And then never do it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, for me, VR is very, like, I like VR a lot. I, I know Trey's, like, the VR guy, but for me personally, VR, I like it a lot, but I don't, I can't really, like, sit through a full-fledged, like, really long game in it. Mm-hmm. It's not because I get motion sick, just because it's just very, like, you know, it's a lot. I mean, it's, and people will, like, will say, like, oh, it can't be that immersive, but, like, it feels like you're actually there, so it's a lot of, like, stuff to take in and stuff. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like if they're not going to do VR, though, I want them to really focus on the next-gen ports of the game. I really want them to mm-hmm. improve, like, you know, maybe lighting with God rays, try for 60, doubt it, 60 FPS, and uh, I don't know. I just would want them to improve it and make the dual sense go for PS4 and stuff work like really well with the game. I think that'd be a, a better way of putting their money towards instead of VR at the moment. Yeah. I, and also, I say the reason why they're not doing VR is because there's too many set pieces to actually make. Yeah, maybe. It's yeah, way, keep the like, work all the controls for motion controls too. Yeah. And also, like, and stuff. Each one of the, um, uh, each one of the, um, uh, what's it called? the uh, places also to make it more accessible mm-hmm. for VR. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're, they're, I mean, there's obviously a lot of reasons why they can't work on VR right now, but I mean, it's man, I, I feel like this game would be perfect in VR. I really do. Everything's very close and compact and claustrophobic and, you know, everything's mm-hmm. together and grimy and, you know, the fact that it's first person makes it even, you know, better. Um, but speaking of first person, I also want to get on an issue that I had, which, you know, I feel like this is a bit more of a minute issue. I don't, you know, this isn't once again a deal break for me, but dude, this HUD, I hope they have some serious um, <laughs> okay. options in this game. The pull on a Horizon Zero Dawn right now at the moment. You were saying that okay. I didn't have a, I didn't have too much of a problem with the HUD. I mean, it was like, it was like a health bar, a map, and then like a gun thing. Yeah, and then on the and right side. And then when he side, was driving, yeah, when he was driving, there was like exit vehicle. Yeah, speed which, up. Which maybe it showed that just for the demo. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that was just like well, yeah, demo stuff. We have very similar taste when it comes to HUDs. Like we, we really like clean HUDs. Yeah, just, too. You know, I, at least I do too. Yeah. But in like games like Horizon. I love the game to death. It's fantastic, but the HUD is a mess. So yeah. It's like a worry to um, me. It's especially coming with games like Avengers, dude. Like, whenever that, that HUD was on, I was like, like I was I have, supposed to be what's going I off. I, I didn't have a problem with the Horizon HUD. I, oh, no, no, I just don't like. I don't like a lot of stuff all over the screen. Yeah, it's just, I, I, guess I like, like it. Me. It's not like anything bad. But. I love it very minimalistic. I love an objective marker. Uh, maybe my ammo count and maybe some abilities on my screen. That's it. I don't need you know. I don't need all my job, all my objectives, a map, ammo counters, buttons and prompts on what to press to do certain actions, health bar. Yeah, I'm sure. You, I'm sure you can turn that stuff off. That yeah. buttons and prompt thing. I'm. I doubt that will be, especially in a first person setting. I'm sure there's gonna be an option to turn everything off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like um. Uh, like see, when it comes down to that, I'm the opposite. I'm fine with it to a point, but for first person game i'm not because witcher was third person you can easily look real fast to see what you need to do mm-hmm. but when it comes down to first person i they also had this setting for the witcher you can get rid of all of it basically okay. you can choose what's going to be on you what can be on your hud yeah yeah if you're gonna make a first person game there should there definitely needs to be an option where you can turn everything off because like that that just 
I guess not, though, maybe, because the whole thing is he has to have cybernetic eyes, so I guess there would be kind of like well, a HUD thing. Okay, well, if you want to look at the HUD, though, in a kind of an optimistic way, too, if it's first person, it's futuristic game, what if you have, like, eye implants? It'd be kind of cool. Like, yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. I think he does, does remember? The... He does, remember, yeah. if you see that, remember that trailer when he takes the half well, of yeah, that, but, uh, I mean, like... That's just, that's, yeah, you can, you can pick whatever you want. Like, you don't have to have eye implants. That's the thing. Like, you can, I think you can go, did that scene go through the whole game without even modding your body? Oh, yeah, that is a thing. That's 100% so, a thing. That's definitely gonna be a trophy that I don't want to get. There's definitely gonna be a trophy that's like, don't, don't, like through the entire game, don't buy a cybernetic. I'm, I'm gonna guarantee that's gonna be one of the trophies. Oh, dude, it's gonna be that's gonna be that trophy's gonna be especially hard for me because my first playthrough is gonna be the whole entire hacker route. Yeah, I, I, it was pretty hacker. interesting with like the the things they were talking about with the um, because I was watching like the IGN thing for it, mm -hmm. and. They were talking about some stuff for the game, and it was like, you're like not only will you be able to like you know choose what you look like, but you also have like different back, but different backgrounds, things like that. You can choose. I can't remember. There's one called like the Nomad, where you yeah. can choose like this thing called the Nomad, and then like your whole thing kind of turns towards more like justice and peacekeeping. Or you I can go like about street rat or something like that. I, I, that looks street, really interesting as well. I, I, I know the street kid executive. Street and, uh, kid. Street, yeah, street, street kid. kid. That's what. Yeah. Street Kid and Executive are the two I know. Uh, and Nomad. Yeah, really... No, that's the last one, but let me, um, uh, sit. I have a theory about all three of those. Like, for Nomad, you know how in the, um, uh, thing we watched earlier today, where it started, where it showed him, like, a mechanic shop? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's where the Nomad would start off at, be and the Executive starts off with coming out of the elevator with them, uh, Oh, you I think, depending on your, your background, it, it changes where the game starts? Yes, I think that's how it's going to go. I think that's also what they said, but that'd, don't hold me to that. That'd be interesting. That'd be pretty interesting. And then Street Kid is basically... Street Kid is basically where you start off with... Um, uh, oh, I forgot his name. The guy that's with you. Oh, uh, your, uh, your friend, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jackie. Jackie, that's Jackie. his name. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I really like the way that they... Because, like, you can fully customize your character, like intently customize your character you can customize your backstory you can customize like all this different stuff skin color and skin, yes that include <laughs> yes um you can customize all all this stuff like you know down to like the most minute detail and i think there i think the you know the reason they're really doing that is because like this game was like based off like the old role-playing game yeah. and like they're just mm -hmm. trying to add like more and more to that and i think they're doing a really good job with it at least what i've seen because it, it looks almost like a character creation for like a D and D or something like that. Oh yeah. The one thing also... about this. Matt talks first. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, what the heck, okay. man? Um, and also, when it, and also, and also, when it comes down to it, also they clearly um uh, stated from like multi the multiple showings of the game saying. V is your character. You can do whatever you want with him. Mm -hmm. It's not more of you. It's more of your adventure through it, not V's. Yeah, I, I think I think you kind of have to be like that when, because again, that's like again kind of a you know role playing mentality of like, yeah, you're making a character, but you're only really making a character for you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you know, where other games, it's like. Well, here's the character we made, and here's their story. It's more of like, here's a character you're you're making, and here's your story. And I kind of like that. Yeah. The one thing I just hoped about this game is, and this game's been really hyped up, so I really wanted to push the bar, especially this being like a really, um, like a kind of like a the big, I call it the big blockbuster finale to this generation. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's still kind of going to next gen. I really wanted to push boundaries with the role playing in this game. I mean, I know it's, I'm not trying to ask for a lot here, but like compared to like Skyrim and Fallout Four, especially Fallout Four. I like oh, the game, yeah. but I know a lot of people have role-playing problems with it. I really want them to take full advantage of that and have a ton of replay value to this game. I don't want to just be like another Skyrim where it's like, mm -hmm. once you play it, like, you're like, yeah, you can replay a lot, but like, I want it to be, like, feel different when you play it multiple times. Because we're, yeah. we're starting to get to the point now where yeah. RPGs should start pushing their boundaries a little bit more, I think. I mean, like, you're um, starting to see other games do that, too, and I want this to be the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because what I've seen is, like, when uh, you... there's stuff where you can, like, I'm, like, kind of, like, Fallout or Skyrim, where it's like you choose an option, but everything ends in the same road, kind of a thing. Like you can be like, uh, like really mean to like the entirety of Skyrim and just be mean to everyone you meet, but you'll still end up doing the exact thing, like the exact same thing. With mm -hmm. what I've seen in Cyberpunk, it's like if you act a certain way to people, there will be consequences. 
And yeah, I really I'd like that. I so really want an emphasis on that. If if you walk into a bar and start shooting up the place, it's like, yeah, well, no one wants to talk to you anymore, you know? Or we're really yeah. not allowed back yeah, in that no, bar. No. Like yeah. Thing. And if you, get, if you get like into a bar fight, the owner will be like, no, get out. You're not allowed to do yeah. something. Like those those all small things, I I think are really cool. Like and I really want the detail of Red Dead in this thing. Yeah. Mm. And I think that's and where this game horses. Go ahead, Trey. Uh, and one thing I've noticed from the gameplay a while back is that I paid I, I rewatched it recently and I paid close attention to something. Mm -hmm. And in that and when you know it's when it's the whole entire song about the stealth and everything and how a mission ends, right? Mm -hmm. When you can choose to join the Voodoo Boys, Johnny is actually mad about it. So I'm pretty sure there's an mm. option to go through the game where it's only you and Johnny. Kind of like That'd be you're cool. going through both, <laughs> like through all the games by yourself. Well, yeah, I... going off of the whole entire thing, like I said, about what I really want from the game and stuff, there's a very, mm. there's a, it's actually a big one right now, and Last of Us Part Two, believe it or not, started the debate, along with Red Dead, a lot of games have in the past year or two, about like what is a AAA game, like we want to see more of like what we see from like detail and stuff. And I really think yeah. Cyberpunk should come out of the gates with that. Like a mentality of like they've been working on this for years. I really want to say top notch stuff in this game. And I really want to see like your like because people sometimes have the discussion like are AAA games worth the price and stuff. And I really want to see Cyberpunk be worth every penny of like, you know, the purchase yeah. it. Because I really want that tons of replay value to it. I heard that there's supposed to be DLC now. Yes. For Cyberpunk? Yeah. There's gonna be DLC. I, I heard that. I thought they weren't doing like. I thought they came out saying they weren't going to do microtransactions, DLC, or anything like that. Oh, Not no, microtransactions, just DLC. No I think they're doing. Yeah, there's only DLC. Yeah. It'd be like expansion honestly, packs kind of stuff. And honestly, from what that. I, and honestly, when I, from what I've seen with The Witcher, the DLC is worth it. In my at it, going off and again going off just the idea of The Witcher, it could add more story. It could add a new free, uh, a free area. For the story, well, it's interesting. Expand. It's interesting that like, for a game like this, usually you would have like, you know, if you're pre-ordering, you will have like, you know, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, you know, Deluxe yeah. Edition, Cyberpunk Ultimate Edition. But there's only one Cyberpunk game, so I'm trying Make to it. think like, why? Well, I, I wonder if there's a reason they're not trying um, to just be like, here's a season pass or whatever. Um, a couple E3s ago, they said that they're tired of, like, everyone, like, you have to be making a lot of money to buy a certain variant of the game, so they're just making it the same for everyone, trying to, yeah. like, bring everyone together on it. So, basically the same so is the DLC going to be, be is it going to be free no. DLC, or no. is it going to be, no, no. Way. It's definitely going to be paid. No. Okay. no, because be Witcher, like Witcher didn't have a season pass, and they, um... Which didn't have a season pass yet. They released their expansions to it, but they also had a lot of free, like small DLCs to like quests and cosmetics that were yeah. free. So, who knows what we'll get for Cyberpunk? I'm sure I'll probably see some free stuff along with that. One thing I am excited about this game is it seems like, uh, as far as monetization goes, it's going to be very consumer friendly. Um, from what Trey's saying and what from what Matt is saying about Witcher Three, um, I haven't played any of the Witcher games, so I can't speak on it. But they seem very consumer friendly and very, you know, not like Activision or EA, you know, um, and I, I think that's kind of like a breath, a breath of fresh air, you know. I am really sick and tired of all these, you know, AAA, big budget companies pushing that down, impressive. yeah, pushing down microtransactions in your throat. Yeah, the game, yeah. the game. Like, labs yeah. dude so much. Everybody's like, everybody complaining about microtransactions and stuff, and like everybody's like, oh my god, I hate supply drop. Battle Pass is just as bad. People still don't get it. It's mm -hmm. like, you know... It's, oh, yeah. it's, and I'm, uh, I, I, like, it's just a breath of fresh air to see a game like how they used to be. Kind of yeah. come out with, like... Yeah. Yeah, and I you, think that's you how it's the money and they give you a game. And I, I like that. And I think that's how it should be. You know, just like what Jake said, you give them money, they give you a game. If you enjoy that game, you buy more stuff for that game. It should it should yeah. it should never be give us X amount of dollars, otherwise you're only going to get X amount of content. Yeah. Well, that was a major problem with the Red Dead because people like in the past Rockstar was really good about that stuff, but with Red Dead Redemption 2, they locked an actual mission behind a pre like it was like because usually Rockstar is known for like their great open worlds and stuff and their side quests. They locked like a whole entire bank heist mission behind an ultimate mission. Like, mm. There was a big problem with that. And it was like also cosmetics you couldn't get. There was like discounts in stores, so you didn't have to get as much money. Like there's been a like that people people were pretty upset about that because I actually kind of changed like you were missing they pretty much cut content out like it was pretty much uh, known that was cut content. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So I'm glad Cyberpunk's not doing that. I mean, yeah. So I mean, as long as far as we know now, I mean, I don't think it'll yeah, change. Yeah. <laughs> Every, I, I doubt it would change now. I'm sorry. I I've run into too many instances where these companies are like, yeah, no microtransactions, no supply or uh, um season pass for this game, and the next thing you know. After the game launches, that's when they start rolling out everything. So I mean, I don't it's, think it's Project Web will though. Didn't Battlefront didn't Battlefront two do that? Uh, Battlefront twenty fifteen. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. They were like, yeah, no, no. Uh, what was it like paid? DLC, DLC I that? think. Yeah, they they said <laughs> no. Well, they the thing was they announced the so they announced that there was a season pass, but they didn't announce what was in the season pass. That was the issue. That's what it was. Yeah, I, I think I think also the biggest culprit of all of that was Black Ops Four. They said like, mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, it's all gonna be free. The maps will be free. Yeah. There's no season pass, and then they're like, but there is a Black Ops pass. I'm like. Isn't that just the season pass but renamed? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, you need the Black Ops pass. Like, it's like I hope you guys realize you're just you just renamed your pass. <laughs> <It still was laughs> and then you can and buy then, like, it separate. And dude, even then, like they didn't tell you what you were gonna get. They're like, oh, you'll get X amount of maps and zombies maps, and it was just recycled content half of it. It yeah. wasn't even anything like worth. Like I, I bought it. Like I'm, I'm ashamed to say I bought it because I love <laughs> zombies. And dude, I was so yeah. I'm glad to see that CD Projekt Red isn't mm-hmm. going to be doing that supposedly i'm, I'm hoping they're gonna yeah to it, which I, I believe in them they haven't done it before so and like when it comes like for them it would make no sense for them to do something like that all because since you can buy you get in-game currency to buy your clothes and everything i can't really see anything like that happening um i, I you know I, I hate to say this but i wouldn't put it past them you know uh, yeah uh, it's really it's really an instance of we have to wait and see you know we have to wait until this yeah. game's out we have to wait a few months until we see what CD Projekt Red is all about when it comes to Cyberpunk um but based on their I recent don't. based on their recent track record it's you know we're leading down the road of they won't you know bend us over and try to take every penny out of us that they possibly could yeah so um i'm you know i I'm all for supporting games and developers and publishers, but I, I'm not one for throwing people my money when I'm getting shit content back at me, you know? Um, yeah. So, yeah. Like we said earlier in the podcast, though, this game was also delayed. The new release date is November 19th. The rumor is PS5 is coming out November 20th. So, so that would make this game release on a Thursday, which is kind of odd. Um, <laughs> but it was pretty much confirmed um, that they delayed this game for PS5 and Xbox One X support at launch, which I don't think came as a surprise to any of us. I... Um, for, for me, I'm not really worried about it being like the idea that I got pushed back three times because that's also what they did with The Witcher 3 and mm-hmm. it's still one game of the year. Mm-hmm. But, but still. Yeah, it being pushed back isn't an issue. Um, I don't know. I I I don't personally. I've been waiting for seven years. Now. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think another month is gonna add anything to that wait. <laughs> yeah. Um. I you know I, I I don't really mind games being pushed back as long as I get it, <laughs> and it's good yeah. and it's good and it was worth the wait. I guess. Um. And this <laughs> does look like it will be worth the wait. Hopefully. Um, but I feel like, you know, that, that, that was such an easy thing to call that they did that simply to market, um, you know, the PS5 and Xbox one or series X versions a little bit more, which like Matt was saying earlier, um, and I do agree with him on this. I hope that, um, these versions of the game, you know, higher fidelity, higher frame rate, hopefully, you know, the PS5 and Xbox series X are leaps and bounds ahead of the PS4 and Xbox one, unlike the PS4 and Xbox one, which were barely ahead of the PS3 and Xbox 360. You know, those consoles, the the base model for Xbox One and PS4 were very close to the last models of the PS3 mm. and Xbox 360. So this next generation leap is a lot bigger. So I hope to see, you know, I, I can't expect, you know, Cyberpunk to be, you know, this visually groundbreaking game. Obviously, there will be a lot of similarities between the two generations, but I, I can. I, um, I, I, I do think that there will be higher fidelity, higher frame rate. I don't expect the graphics to be just a total overhaul, but I do expect, you know, hey, buddy, I do expect some, you know, minor differences. Um, yeah, I think, I think as w- what we saw in the, the trailer or whatever, like the, the stuff they saw, I mean, 
looked cool. Yeah. I, I mean, like the. Not enough puddles. We're talking about the graphics right now. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. We're, we're we're talking about uh the transition from this generation to next generation. The only thing I'm worried about for this generation, probably noticed from the time of the game, is some pop in problems. But that's probably something either either iron out or fix for PS5. Mm -hmm. That's what I noticed. This kind of shit. And um, uh, yeah, and that was work in progress stuff anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Even true. though the game's done. <laughs> People are playing it. People are playing it. <laughs> Apparently they they said the the they said that the reviews or whatever would be coming out soon, didn't they? Really? Reviews. That remember that's what they said in the the thing. Yeah. How Cause soon? They, they, Cause the they, they, she, the she said it. she said right about now, and then uh, that's when they moved on to the next next thing. When she was like, "Yeah, I think uh, the the reviewers should be saying stuff right about now," and then they moved on. Hmm. That's we didn't. This like from November, bro. No. Nope. Yeah. That's uh. Well, it's not. It's not official reviews, but it's it's the reviews to give us hope. You know what I mean? It's pro yeah. It's probably like yeah. early reviews. Like you know how. Um, I know. Um, um, previews, kind of like agendas or agenda I know. Reviews and stuff. I know Alana. Yeah. Alana Pierce. Alana Pierce. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She 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 put on her YouTube not too long uh, like not too long ago that she recent recently played it. She was one of the people I think. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You go on her YouTube, you you can see that she, she. I think she already did like a kind of review thing for it. Hmm. It's probably like uh, you know how films have a uh, early drafts and they show that draft yeah. of the film to early reviewers. <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> and you know they they, they kind of give their two cents on the film early <laughs> on. So it's probably the same thing where the just very yeah. rough gameplay, I guess you could say, and they're just giving their. Thoughts on maybe the story, not really the gameplay necessarily, but yeah, maybe the story, if anything. Yeah, I do so, want to point out. Go try. One thing that's like, I do want to point out one of my favorite things they're doing so far is that they showed us gameplay and everything and like levels, but they still haven't given us like, yeah, this is the our overarching story. Yeah, they really like. Yeah, I honestly like, really hard on stuff. I have, I still have no idea what it's really about. Yeah, I really and I'm happy about that because I really because like my 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 theory going into it is I can say I can say my theory, right? Go for it. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, my theory going into Cyberpunk is the idea that for whichever ending, because we all know there's going to be multiple endings to the game, mm -hmm. is the idea. That Johnny might turn against you at some point. Not Keanu Reeves. But when no. it comes down to it, we still don't know. And then you kill Keanu. It's a zero to ten. Not buying it. <laughs> kill we still don't know what Johnny. <laughs> we don't know what Johnny's goal is, anyways. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I all like I think all we've seen is that you get implanted with some like chip or whatever and that lets you see the like cyber ghost of keanu reeves mm -hmm. yeah and that's about it <laughs> and well we and um uh, that gameplay i was talking about at the end it did show up one new faction which is not uh i think it's called either i think, I think it's called netwatch i would like to say mm -hmm. and the only thing they really said about them is that they're holding back a, a, like a malware, a, mal, a, a malware mm -hmm. problem, mm. and no one, and no one really knows what that is. Someone wasn't using. The only thing I know rocker. about Johnny, Johnny Silverhand, who's <laughs> Keanu Reeves' character, is he? Um, he's like a rock star, isn't he? He's supposed to be like yeah. in the universe. He's mm -hmm. supposed to be like a rock star. Yeah, he yeah, he it? was in the he was in mm -hmm. Cyberpunk 2020. Yeah, so if he's in that, this is 77, 77 I mean, like yeah. So either either my theory is he's either dead, first of all. Or he's really old somewhere. And so, for AI. what I think here here's my kind of theory because like in the first trailer we really saw, I don't know the first first one, but like the uh, the one at E3 was the thing where they're talking about the immortality chip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you see Johnny, who's obviously dead by this point, but you still see him. I think the immortality was kind of like the genie kind of version of immortality, where it's like a twisted sense of the word where immortality yeah. but you're only in this chip that you can only you're immortal like your consciousness is still there but you're now inside this like data chip so hmm. i think everyone now wants to be immortal but you know it's not like the actual immortality yeah 
Well, yeah. I think it'd be kind of a cool yeah. topic you don't really see in games. Cause my, my worry was we're going to go the whole cliche route about like, how technology is kind of overrunning the world, which I don't think they're going to do that. I, I hope they won't, because I think CD Projekt Red won't do that kind of stuff. But I think like a really deep discussion about like mortality and like yeah. death and uh, how like you know like is and like playing you know, God. It, yeah, playing God. Like, is it okay? Yeah. To, like you know, not like maybe that's what the whole story's gonna be about. Which I think that'd be a really cool. Like, topic should we make another Jurassic yeah. World movie? Answer: Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, sir. No. Like Fast and Furious <laughs> Ten. One less ride. And funny enough that you say that, Matt. <laughs> um, uh, there is a faction in the game where it's, I do believe they don't believe in cybernetics at all. Like they might have like missing arms and like they replace them and that's it. Nothing else. There, there's like people in the game. Yeah. Yeah, which w- I, I, I think I that would make sense. I think that would make sense. Obviously, you know, you would have your technology connoisseurs, and then you would have those people that you know are more um, content with the old way of life in the sense that yeah. you don't need yeah. to be genetically modified to live a good life and stuff like that. So I, you know, I think yeah. the addition of that type of group is a you know a good choice. Yeah, I really, I really want to see them deep dive into like the whole like, like what's humanity? You know, like yeah. what makes you a human being? You know, is it your soul? Is it your appearance? Is it whatever? Because, like, not to be mean to people in the game, but a lot of them look like kind of freaky. Like they're like really like they almost look like complete robots. You know? Mm-hmm. And yeah, remember, like, one trailer, one thing one stuck guy. out to me. It was this girl doing makeup in a mirror, and like you're like, oh, she's she's pretty, and the person moves, oh, and her body, just have mouth is gone. I'm like, what? The? Yeah, so she's yeah. like, so it's like she's a fake like mouth. Yeah. Like you said, there's a kind of stuck in me, like man, like it's kind of like creepy. It's like like you know, really, how far do we go before we don't even recognize our own selves? Like, yeah, because like, there's the a conversation on that. There's the one person in that trailer we saw today. Uh, I think his name was Adam Smasher, who is like yeah. all you see of him that's left is um. His face. Just his head, yeah, yeah like his, his face. face. That's about it. <laughs> like mm-hmm. everything else is just machine. <laughs> and um, yeah. so that'll be interesting to see. And um, uh, when and they kind of hinted towards that whole entire idea uh, with um, Matt's theory, all because you can also you can choose not to do any um uh, modifications to yourself, or you can just go over uh, uh over bound with it. yeah i'm wondering how far you can take it can you like can you take it as far as you know that guy where you're basically just a walking you know tank well, or <laughs> or are you, are you just gonna or can you just basically go like get your cybernetics but they're only like the ones visible like underneath the skin all like the subdermal ones I think the way you know, that, I, think, more, I, I think the person the way they've been not te- at all i think the way they've been mm-hmm. teasing a lot of this stuff is to show what is possible you know, they mm-hmm. they put yeah. they put a lot of emphasis on that Solomon Grundy looking dude. They, you know, I I, I do mm-hmm. think that you know you can achieve something like that in the game to where you like everything about you is completely different except for like one part. Yeah, I think it would be a cool concept they could do somehow. A lot of games have done the whole karma thing, obviously and stuff. But like, what if like you start off the game like you're you know you're normal normal than anything else and stuff, and you go through the game and you encounter people who are more augmented than you, or you become more augmented. Well, I feel like there's like a personality thing. Like you can tell people who are more augmented are either more like not as like they're more cold to people without augments, and then maybe that will play into like, you know, maybe you'll sit there like depending on the playthrough you want to go. Do you want to be like, okay, do I want to be more? Do I want to retain more of my human side, or do I want to sacrifice mm-hmm. my human side for more fun gameplay and mechanics and stuff? Because maybe like the more upgrades you get, the less and less like maybe you become more cold. Well, I'm sure that will come into. Like, I'm sure that will come into play for like character like talking options. Like say if you haven't gotten your if, like, say you're going through your thing and you haven't done any cybernetic stuff, I'm sure people will talk about that and, like, you know, why why haven't you augmented or why, do, why haven't you done this? Have you gotten yeah. these things you'll be, yet? You, you'll, be and kinda, then if you, you'll be lesser. Yeah, and then if you walk in as, you know, walking robot dude, I'm sure everyone's going to talk about, like, wow, where'd you get all this stuff? Or, you know, like, uh, is there anything left of you under there or anything like that? I'm sure there'll be, like, snide jokes and things like that. But I would almost like to see a whole dialogue tree change. That's asking a yeah. lot. I'm not expecting this. This is just like cool stuff. Like maybe like, just like, yeah, you can pick different dialogue options. Like, uh, you know, like that's not asking a do. lot. They've been working on this game since 2012. They've been working on this game since... tree changes. Man, they've been working on this... They've been working on this game since 2012. You can ask for a lot more than that. Honestly, that probably will be a thing because another part, another part I'm curious about I wonder if the whole entire, like like Matt said, the whole entire, like, balancing between humanity and cybernetics, mm-hmm. I wonder if that only goes for, like, physical ones, like the blades, 
in changing a body, or does it also go for the whole entire hacking software in the mental? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Because the game, the game's gonna be dark. There's a whole entire, there's a whole entire faction of, of people that literally just kidnap people, take their parts, and leave them for dead. Just like iRobot. Just like Jalen. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the most thing I'm gonna be doing, like 75% of what I'm gonna be doing in this game, is just driving around the city. Oh yeah, I, oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. definitely just gonna start driving around the city. Yeah, having the having the soundtrack just blaring, uh, muting Jalen so I don't have to listen to his music blaring. Go be out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, hey, crank your TV to a hundred percent volume. Shut up. You, you ever, <laughs> you ever like? I might sound weird here, but I, like you ever play GTA and like you're you're just bored, so you just like oh, by actually the, do like all yeah. the. You, yeah, yeah you, like just drive yeah, normally. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just, just like oh, stop sign. <laughs> yeah, not to, like a psychopath. I mean, if you ever just play GTA, just ran over people whenever you want to. Like you know, that's not like crazy or anything. Yeah, you're gonna have negative karma and cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I, 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 I can see me doing that though. Is just going around the city, just driving normally. Yeah, and uh, then there's supposed to be a multiplayer as well. So I'm yeah, sure which that would which be... I feel like that's gonna be especially awesome considering that our uh, characters are completely customizable. I, I feel like not. I feel like no one is, is gonna. Is that years away though? Is that like a few years away from the even releases? Is and it? Yeah, it's like this. This. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, not be. I, I don't. I, I don't <laughs> think it's supposed to be coming at launch by maybe 2021. I don't think years. Plus, like a GTA Online Because I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, really think about it. You know, the majority of th the majority of the game is done. I want to say about ninety five percent of the game is done. They probably uh, have uh, changed the workload and moved a lot of those people working on the story to the multiplayer aspect. So mm -hmm. it should be well. The game's done. Yeah, it's it's, it's done. done. It's just online. Yeah, everyone's playing it right now. It's just, just we can't play it. <laughs> Everyone's playing it but you, so <laughs> everybody in every country is playing it except you. Africa got this yeah. game first. <laughs> Back in May. Yeah, I know. Back in May. Yeah, no. Uh I, I can just see like I boot up the game, maybe like, you know, do some like side quests and stuff, because there's gonna be like side missions as well. Mm -hmm. So like oh, yeah. do like a side mission and then just like if there's fast travel, I'm saying right now I'm never gonna use it. Yeah, I, and that's kind of like that's kind of like me and uh, Spider Man. Like I yeah, never, I name. never use that fast travel. I thought that was the most uh, yeah. pointless thing ever. And it, I, I feel like the only reason why you know certain gamers don't use fast travels in certain games is because the game is just, you know, if it's if the travel. Yeah, it's it's just you yeah. know this doesn't seem like that type of game. It's just it really doesn't. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. This is the Blade Runner yeah, game we have long been waiting for. Oh my god! And I am Shut proud up to say, Blade Runner. <laughs> no, but seriously, as a person that loves film, like this is Blade Runner, Dread, and Upgrade all in one package, and I cannot wait for this. It looks amazing. <laughs> it really does. It looks awesome. Um, I just hope you know. My, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm as hyped as a lot of people i think people are really high for this game yeah because you don't have it pre-ordered i don't have it pre-ordered and like that's a freaking loser i'm waiting to see more you know this so far it's not i don't need more <laughs> i'm ready i just need, I just need the game that's all yeah I need. it's it's gonna be very ready, awesome bro. i i do I think th go for it no i still want another watchdog scenario where i get super hyped for this game and just be like completely depressed when i play it uh, yeah <laughs> watching five people cl clip straight through a wall I think having this Girl. having this discussion honestly got me a little bit more hyped, especially talking more about the story because the story is something I feel like no one really knows anything about for the most part. And talk yeah. about and talk about like the type of stuff that they could do with the story that I hope they do uh, with the story as far as like talking about morals and morality and humanity. I feel like that'd be yeah. very very awesome. It's honestly kind of surprising for how long it's been and you know you know how long it's been. You know, people working on it, and nothing really has come out about like what the story is or any leaks or anything like that. Yeah, you know, they're very quiet overseas. Like that. Very quiet overseas. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes down to it, they keep that stuff airtight. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I mean, your like... game didn't get leaked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, 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 hey, hey, we still have time, okay? Yeah, we have time. Listen, I have a group of Filipino hackers doing the work right now. Filipino I'm not associated hacker. with this man. <laughs> I'm not associated with the 
was it the seventh caliber? Yeah, the seventh oh caliber. My God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really. I think we're all pretty excited for this game. It comes out November nineteenth. Jalen's not. I am not excited for this game. I'm excited for Lost's Part Three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reprove her that. But um, good luck with that. I, yeah. Um, I feel like we're gonna get a lot of hate. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. So uh, don't worry, I've already disliked the video. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, it looks good. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, wait. I'm. Hey man, I'm. I'm checking every day now. Listen, at this point, at this point, I'm ready for another delay before I'm ready for another release date. Hey Jay, <laughs> what? Yeah. Eight days left. 83 days, 3 hours, 23 minutes, and 41 seconds. Here we go. Wait, that's not the Here right That's not the right amount of time. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the right one anymore. I was about to say, that's not. that's not it. <laughs> it's um, not. It's not anymore. Dude, I mean, like, sitting here thinking about it, this was kind of like, what, September 7th or something like that? Like, dude, being delayed two months, that's quite a, that's quite a delay. I'm not going to lie. For, like, Honestly, again, it's like... No, it's not, Matt. Honestly, when it comes down to it, I'm kind of happy they did, because think of it. Look at the trailers. There's nothing, like, how many trailers do we have until, like, the newest one came out? Probably. Yeah, but let's be real. We all know why they delayed it to November. <laughs> let's be honest with Money. Here. Money. Next-gen money. Money. PS5 and Series X. Oh, I was going to say NAC 3, but... Okay. No, I was just <laughs> pretty funny, because when they really first came out of this game, they're like, yeah, we're not going to have a PS5 version or Series X version ready for a couple of years. <laughs> That went out the window. That looked yeah. weird. And they were like, yep, uh, and free upgrades, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> free upgrades, buy your upgrades. Hey, at least here. we get that and not like, you know, let's see, what's another game that did that to us? Knack. Minecraft. Oh, no, Call of Duty Ghosts, where you have, like, a certain amount of time to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you still have to pay, though. That's the thing. You need to pay, like, 10 bucks to upgrade it. Yeah. Oh, PS3 yeah. Version. yeah. Um... So yeah, it's all about the money though, bro. There you are trying to get that money. That's all excited about. Um, but yeah, I you know I think we're all pretty excited for this game. I can't wait. Um, I, I I do personally, I do need to see a little bit more. I think I I think if anything, yeah. I need to see more of the story. I think that's really what's holding mm-hmm. me off from pre-ordering this game. You know, it looks great. Don't get me wrong, it looks fun. But I'm a, yeah, I'm a very story oriented person. Yeah. So I I kind of I I. I, I kind of feel that same way where it's like i want to see more of the story but like now you know like I, i've also liked that we don't know much about it yeah you know? yeah yeah I like and I, and I kinda... extent, but I, I feel like we need to know at least some stuff because i feel like if you don't tell anybody about your story you're gonna have like a situation like well something like a gameplay game that's like something like a deep story and wouldn't have much um maybe. here comes the thing with that honestly i'd be fine learning nothing about the story because you know i can imagine them doing Especially the idea that you can join all like m- most of the factions anyway. Mm-hmm. That is not really a big bad until you piss off the wrong faction. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? But yeah, I, it might I be like an ever changing story. That's why they don't want to do like a. I just don't want the game to be side quest. The game. I want that might be why that they don't have a like a real story trailer is because it's like an ever changing story. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know because it's it's different startings like. The, the executive, the nomad, and the street thing, if you're all starting at different places and you can and you can all end in different places, it's hard to put down a story trailer because that's just one of many possibilities. And then, they don't want, and then they don't want to give too much about Johnny also, so you can't do yeah. it really like a Johnny story trailer. Yeah. So what we're trying to say is, Matt, shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yikes. I'm kidding. The only person that hates you is Jalen. Um, I played the fifth. Um, but yeah, I think that's yeah. going to pretty much conclude this podcast. If you guys are ready to say goodnight. Uh, I actually had a question. Go for did it. you guys tell them uh, why, why we did this Thursday? No, I, I didn't feel the need to. <laughs> but if, if, if you would like to, go I, for it. I, 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 w- I wanted to make sure that we're fully um, I, transparent I, with uh, the people who listen to this. Listen. So they realize how much, movie night. how much losers we are. Uh, the reason we did this on Thursday is because apparently on Friday, Fortnite is going to have an Inception movie night. So I have downloaded yeah. Fortnite for the first time in like eight mm-hmm. years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna watch Inception in Fortnite, and who knows? Maybe I'll make it through the night. Maybe I won't. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
That's really why we yeah. did this. <laughs> what time does it, what time does it start our time? Eight or seven for us. Seven for us. Yeah. Uh, Just so you know you picked Fortnite over your fans. No, no, we still made the podcast. <laughs> we that, wait, seven, seven at night. Seven yeah. at night or seven in the morning? At night. That'd be crazy. At night. Um. Okay. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. No D and D tomorrow, buddy. Yikes. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, it was awesome having you guys back. Uh, Nate or not Nate. Um, <laughs> Trey. Ow. You you've been calling everyone Nate recently. You've called Matt Nate, Trey Nate, Dude, me Nate. I I've been playing Final Fantasy and it's on my mind. And when we get you know what you this, haven't been playing a way out. So it was great having that's Trey and Matt back on the podcast. It was awesome having you guys back on the podcast. I hope you guys come so back. Last of Us, so y'all come subscribe. Uh, and he hasn't played a way out. With his, <laughs> oh my uh, god. <laughs> <laughs> with his favorite white friend, so. Oh, we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring color into this, all right? All right. No, go. I think I do. Uh, um, <laughs> think do. Not right now, Jake. I think we're good. I'm gonna do that. Um, in the world that we have. As a play way out, and he hates everyone. Oh, oh my god! I, I still have a way out installed. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to wrap this up before it gets a little violent. So we'll see you guys yeah, next okay. week. You know I'll go in a chair. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> we thank you all for watching. I'll freak it out. And from my family to yours, we'll see you on the battlefront. <laughs> oh, my God. Just here. <laughs> if that wasn't cringe, I don't know what that was. Is that actually how we ended it? Really? Yeah, that? yeah that's how it ended.